Hi, and welcome to my channel, Blue Lady Thrifting. My name is Vanessa, and today I would like to share with you a What Sold Over the Weekend video. So let's get into it and start with this antique bohemian perfume bottle. Multicolored glass with gold gilt and stopper, and then I put reed. It is six inches tall, but I put reed because I did not buy it broken, but when I got it home, I dropped it on my tile floor, of course, and snapped it in half. So I did put the tape on it and noted that in the listing, but it sold anyway, and it sold for $18, plus $8 in shipping. And I believe I got this at the um, Menagerie or possibly even the Galleria for um, under $5. All right, next up, let's not break anything, is this Royal Worcester Evesham Orchard 1999 Portugal covered beehive with plums. I put sugar and tea. It sold for $9. I'll show you the bottom there. It's made in Portugal. It sold for $9 plus $8 in shipping. And I believe I either got this at the Menagerie or Goodwill for about $2. All right, next up is this Tracy Porter Artisan Ceramic Road peacock solid server set with spoon and fork it's 14 inches um long and it is marked with a sticker right there tracy porter it's fun and it's blue it's very cute it sold for 20 dollars plus 17 dollars in shipping and i got this at one of the akron ohio goodwills for under five dollars maybe about five dollars all right and the sale of the weekend is this antique Nippon chocolate pot with eight cups and saucers, hand-painted roses, gold leaf, and this is a um, Diane sale. So my sister's mother-in-law, Diane, I'm selling this for her, so I'll be splitting the profits with her, and this sold for $400 plus about $40 in shipping. Let's see if I can show you the bottom of anything. That's the very pretty hand-painted roses and gold leaf. Maybe it says it on the bottom. Nope, it is not marked. Let's see if the teapot. Now, there was one chip that I noted. So right there, the chip on the, on the lid. But other than that, it's in beautiful condition. There we go. Mm, Noritake Nippon, hand-painted. Very fun. I was so tempted to keep this, but what do I need a chocolate pot set for? I do not know. So I enjoyed it while it was here. And actually, there were a set of nine cups and saucers. So I did keep one for myself. So I did take a little finder's fee since there were so many. Maybe it was supposed to be a set of 12 and only um, nine survived, but I sold it as a set of eight and I get to keep one for myself. So that was lots of fun. All right, and another Diane cell. So this right here is an Onyx Marble Stone Candle Tea Light Holder set of three. New in box. Let's see if I can show you right there. New inbox made in Pakistan. Okay, let's see. What else do I say about that? It sold for $19 plus $10 in shipping. So that was a good sale for her as well. All right, next up is this sweet grass, seagrass woven basket. Orange pumpkin shape. Um, with lit, it sold for um, $12 plus six dollars in shipping it is six inches by four inches and the uh the lid is attached there and i did have an apple a red apple like this and that one did already sell so this one sold for twelve dollars plus six dollars in shipping and i believe i got this for about two dollars at goodwill or the menagerie 
All right, next up, these two items went to the same buyer. This yellow amber crackle glass basket, six inches, vintage hand blown. And then this sky blue um, crackle art glass pitcher, six inches, vintage hand blown. So she said that she was going to add these to her grandmother's collection. So that was nice. She even asked me um, what my best price was. And I told her I would um, do half price. But she offered um, $12 each. So $24 for the pair plus $12 in shipping. The shipping might be a little less. I'm not positive. But if it is, I might give her a shipping discount. So I did already have this listed for my Blue Lady Thrifting She Shed Sale. That I'm or my eBay clearance sale that I'm going to have at the end of the month in my garage that I converted into a she shed. Well, my side of the garage because you know he still has to park his car in his side of the garage. All right, next up is this vintage hand carved soapstone African vase. I put elephant tree eight inches tall, it's very heavy. I put um, Kenya Sunset, and I did put Reed because you can see right there, it's got a pretty substantial crack. It doesn't go all the way through, but it is a crack. And I'll show you the bottom there that it says made in Kenya. So I did actually have this listed for my She Shed sale. I was going to sell it for $10, this hand-carved soapstone vase. But it sold on eBay for $18 plus $12 in shipping. And I believe I got that at the Menagerie for about $5. All right, a couple more items. Um, a set of six glass yellow swirl rainbow solid and cat's eye one millimeter marbles. This, sold, this little set sold for $4.99 and with five dollars shipping and i got this at a garage sale in a large bag of marbles so i paid two dollars for the large bag of marbles and then i went through and pulled out all the cat's eye bumblebee ones poison dart ones and i believe the bumblebee ones have sold for um i think two bumblebee marbles maybe it was just one sold for five dollars and then this set sold for five dollars so i've already made my money back Plus doubled my money and I still have some more marbles left so we'll see if any more of those sell all right last item this Worthington um, white ankle pants size 10 petite I put the inseam was 25 inches and the waist was 34 inches um, and it's I did not put in the listing new with tags and who says you can't wear white after Labor Day? I forget where these are going, but um, the buyer paid $20 for these plus $10 in shipping. And I got these in an um, Goodwill auction lot. Everything was new with tags. And I didn't pay any more than about 5 or $7 per item. So that was a good sale as well. All right, well, that was everything for today. Thank you, current subscribers. And if you are new here, please hit that subscribe button for me. Everyone, leave a comment. Tell me what your favorite item was and if you would have been tempted to keep this chocolate pot set. Um, everyone, give me a like. And as always, until next time, I thank you for watching.